Shalom and greetings here from Israel. I want to wish you a very blessed new year here from the city of Jerusalem. And allow me to read to you a powerful passage that we find in the book of Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 2, uh, verse 18, where the man of God says, Let us arise and build. Let us arise and build. And I want to throw this Rema word of God to you at the beginning of this new year, 2024. Let us arise and build. And I want to give you two very practical arenas where we need to arise as people of God and where we need to build and rebuild. Number one, let us rebuild the spiritual foundations of our lives. Without doubt, as we are entering in the year 2024, our world is in a state of turmoil. Wars are in Europe, wars are in the Middle East. Many things are shaking in the nations, even where we might be residing right now. And it is the more important that the foundations of our lives are set on a proper rock foundation. Let us, number one, rebuild the foundation of prayer in our lives. Let us be in this year 2024 people that are more dedicated to personal prayer than ever before. It is quite remarkable if you look at the life of Jesus that even though he was the son of God, prayer played a central role in his life. Many times he isolated himself to a silent, desolate place to seek his Father in heaven. And the outcome of those prayer times were amazing. One time he was praying on the mountain and it was the moment when he chose the 12 disciples that would change the entire world. Another time you read he was in a desolate place praying and as he returned, the power of God was there to heal. Prayer unlocks the gates of heaven. Prayer unlocks the potential of God in your life. Let us arise and rebuild the foundation of prayer in our life. Secondly, let us arise and rebuild the foundation of the Word of God. I want to encourage you as you enter in 2024 to spend more time in the Word of God than ever before. It is the bread by which we live, but also it is a powerful weapon as we are praying and interceding for our families, for our nations, and even for our personal life. But thirdly, I want to give you a very practical application how we can arise and rebuild. Just a few days after October 7, I had the privilege to visit with a special delegation the communities that just a few days earlier have been destroyed and attacked by Hamas. And I saw with my own eyes the destruction, this trail of horror that was left behind by those vicious Hamas terrorists. And I want to call upon all of us today, let us arise and rebuild. Let us arise and rebuild those communities in Israel that used to be like the Garden of Eden, but have become a place of desolation today. Let us arise and build those forests around those communities that have been destroyed by this current war and the International Christian Embassy for that purpose. We adopted a special ICEJ nature park right there at the border to Gaza. Let us arise and rebuild those communities in the south like Be'eri or Kfa'asa to give a future and a hope to the people who live there in a place and a state of tranquility and peace. Let us give them a future and a hope and show them that Christians around the world care for Israel in this critical moment. Let us together arise and build. Let us build the land of Israel, but also let us build the foundations of our spiritual life with God. And as we do this, I am sure that we will master the storms that might face us in 2024, and we will be a blessing for the people around us. God bless you as together we will arise and build. Mm -hmm.